It's already Friday here in Nigeria. I'm happy to be on your screen this moment. Okay, you see, many of us have become religious people, just churchgoers. Many of us now go to church, not because we want to worship God, but you don't want your pastor to feel bad. Sometimes in the morning or Sunday, you see people running at a skate park, trying to get to church on time. They're not really going to church on time because they want to get to church on time. But they don't want the pastor to feel bad that they came to church late. They don't want the HOD to feel bad that they came to church late. If you do that, it means you're not serving God, no matter how you put up. God does not read your lips. He reads your heart. He knows the motive behind every action you take. Man will judge you based on what you do, but God will judge you based on why you do what you do. He doesn't always really reward good people. He rewards the obedience. So if you are going to church, go to church because you are going to serve God. Don't wait for the pastor to tell you should come to church early. The same way you would have kept your secular appointments on time, do same in church. Wake up on time and make sure that your department does not slack. You need a sweep, you need a clean, you need to do one thing or the other. Don't go because you don't want your pastor or your HRD to feel bad. So that at the end of the day, all this, your efforts will not be in vain. Number two, don't live your life to impress anybody because nobody can reward you except God. Even at times you do as if men reward you, but God passes through them to reward you. Live your life to impress God and God alone. Don't you ever explain to people sometimes why you say no. Most times you just have to say no without explaining yourself. Let your no be no. That's how our God is. If God tells you no, it's no. If he tells you yes, it's yes. He doesn't need to explain himself. So if you are creating his own image, you should be like him. That's what makes him powerful. And if you want to be a powerful person, learn to be you. Learn to be yourself. And learn to tell yourself the truth first before telling any other person. Number three, don't forget that your pastor may not be your spiritual father. The fact that you stay under that man does not mean that you're a spiritual father automatically. He may just be your pastor. He may just be your teacher. But it's not your spiritual father. Because parenting, responsibility, is more than just being a pastor. I know you are blessed this morning. God bless you. We'll see you again next time. Bye.